Okay, uh, hi everyone. So uh, I just uh, I just received uh, my new base. So it's a Sterling Stingray uh, short scale uh, SX4 short scale by uh, Music Man. I'm very excited <laughs> because uh, my first uh, electric short scale bass, I still I already have a, an acoustic uh, short, uh, extra short scale bass, uh, but uh, it's my first uh, electric short scale bass, so uh, let's see uh, what we get here. Okay, so uh, first thing I notice is uh, the package is smaller than usual, it's uh, logical, okay. Rid of it. Let's get rid of it, and I get it. So, oh my God, it, it seems uh, really tiny. Oh yes. Okay. So here it is. <laughs> First thing I can say, and, I, uh, and I'm noticing is that uh, it's uh, really small. <laughs> uh, I can already see uh, see that. And uh, second thing uh, um, uh, I can uh, I notice uh, is that there is no gig bag. I saw videos with a uh, gig bag uh, with it, so it's uh, not cool. I thought no, I, on the website and uh, I bought it on Thoman, uh, uh, German website. Uh, they said there were no gig bags, so I wasn't uh, expecting one. But uh, I, I still uh, hoped for for it. Uh, it's uh, almost seven euros. A base, uh, so uh, I think uh, this price uh, there could be a gig bag. Uh, anyway, uh, it's not a big uh, big issue. So let's see what we've got here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Great. So, so here it is. Uh, Stingray, short scale base. Um, the color. First thing I notice is the color. It's a very light blue. I think uh, it's called Daphne blue, and it's uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's gorgeous, uh, really. Uh, with a white big guard, uh, the two uh, combine are very cute. Um, um, first impression is that it's lightweight. Uh, it's, uh, it seems logical uh, because of the, uh, the size of it. Huh? Small, it's uh, incredibly small. <laughs> it's smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, so, um, the, it's um, a mahogany uh, body mm, uh, in blue. Uh, so, you can see it better. Uh, mahogany uh, body, and it's a maple neck with maple fretboard. Uh, one of the things that um, uh, made me want it because uh, I had no base with maple uh, fretboard. Um, until uh, until then, okay. Um, so uh, second thing, um, the neck. Uh, so it's short, <laughs> of course, but uh, it, it's great. It's great looking. Um, I see. Yes, it's not so. You, I, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little. You know, um, I don't know how to say it in, in English, but. Uh, on the frets, on the border of the frets, uh, little marks uh, that are uh, not very cool. Uh, first time I saw that on a base, a little, uh, little marks on the wood. It's not, uh, well, maybe I could send it, I don't know, but uh, well, it's, it's not great. Uh, anyways, um, the head, here's the head. So, staring by Music Man, Stingray. And, uh, taking uh, off the uh, plastic on the tuners. Uh, I love this head, uh, this classic Music Man head with the uh, three tuners on the side and the other one, uh, the treble one. Um, On the other side, yeah, great, great. Always wanted to to have that. So the head is great. Um, the body seems perfect. Mm. Uh, bridge, solid bridge, marked um, sterling on it. You can see. 
Um, okay. Okay. So uh, everything seems all right. Uh, okay, except the, this little problem on the uh, those little I don't know those little marks. I don't know how to do it to say it. Sorry, uh, on the on the side of the threads, mm, not perfect. Okay, um, um, but um, yeah, you can see the other side of the head. It's uh, made in Indonesia. Huh? Oh. It's uh, logical for the price. Huh? So you uh, made in USA music man, the real music man, the only born music man, uh, uh, 2,000 or more euros. So uh, <laughs> for the price, uh, it's logical. Uh, I have no issue with uh, with that. With made in Indonesia, I still have bases, uh, very uh, good bases uh, made in Indonesia. So um, uh, why uh, did I uh, bought, uh, did I buy? Sorry, uh, this uh, this base. Uh, first thing, um, I have small hand, uh, very small hand for bases. Huh? Not a small guy, but uh, a short guy, but I have small hands. So uh, I always had issues on uh, some uh, songs to play it uh, with the stretching. Huh? And a good example is um, uh, the song uh, My Friend of Misery uh, by Metallica. It's a classic bass line, you know, uh, begins like that. So uh, it's not tuned. I don't know if we're going we're going to hear something, but uh, there's a note with uh, the pinky, we must uh, reach the 14th fret. And on long, long scale uh, basses, I always had to do a little, uh, it was difficult for me to reach uh, this 14th fret. So I had to do slight, slight moves between the notes. And um, it, uh, it was not good for the sound, it was not good for uh, uh, this bass line. Uh, and, uh, I love this bass line. It's, it's just an example of that other songs where I had this problem, this issue. Um, so it's uh, first thing evident is that no problem. No problem anymore to reach with my pinky uh, this 14 fret. So <laughs> it's the main reason uh, why I wanted a uh, short scale bass. And then uh, why this one? Uh, I, I had hesitations with uh, Sire Marcus Miller, um, uh, U4, I think. Uh, others, um, also uh, medium scale basses. I was uh, hesitating, but uh, I really had a crush on the videos and photos on this bass, and uh, I'm not disappointed at all. Only, only little problem with uh, this. I hope you can see it. Little things, little marks here and here at each fret. But ah, oh, it's a, it's a pu purely aesthetic, it's a aesthetic problem. Uh, the bass seems to be uh, well, uh, well tuned uh, as it is, uh, out of the box, um, um, low action, very low action, school. Uh, the playability seems great. I, I want to uh, make you a demonstration now uh, because uh, I don't have a good mic mic uh, microphone uh, on, the, um, on my computer, so it, it wouldn't uh, it would it wouldn't be great. But uh, uh, I already saw that it's a lot easier. I uh, think it will be uh, the same for other songs that uh, that are um, a problem for me. So it was the main goal. So uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I, I didn't um, I didn't um, check the sound yet, but I hope uh, it will be cool. So um, Sterling Stingray uh, by Music Man, uh, a very very cute uh, little bass, short scale bass. Uh, it's a it's a passive bass. Maybe say it, which is uh, uh, different from uh, other music man's uh, stirrings, which are uh, uh, usually uh, active ones. Yes, it, uh, it's, it seems to be a really great, great, great instrument. Um, finish, finish, in, finish in of the neck, uh, 
Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, we can see it. And it's the um, only uh, only issue I would uh, I would have on this instrument. But uh, I think uh, it's not uh, a big issue, and uh, it will be great to play it. So I hope that soon I, I could, uh, I'll be able to show you uh, some uh, covers um, uh, of some uh, new songs uh, that uh, I can play uh, with this uh, new toy. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.